Aloha. Thanks for considering the views expressed in this think tech commentary. The clock is ticking on nuclear war and we are now going headlong into nuclear proliferation. Absent the Obama agreement that Trump senselessly terminated, Iran has dramatically increased the amount of refined uranium for a bomb. Joe Biden has been unable to get Iran back to the negotiating table to resurrect that agreement, so now we have another rogue state that will be a nuclear power. Another great foreign policy success by Trump. There will be more than a handful of armed nuclear powers, some responsible and others not responsible at all. When Iran has the bomb, it will join Russia, China and North Korea, all arguably rogue states. None of them can be trusted with the responsibilities of maintaining global peace and security. For any of them to have the bomb brings us much closer to nuclear holocaust, where millions die, where the planet is wasted, and where life on Earth is essentially over. This is a very high-stakes game. The US, the UK and France have the bomb. Israel has it too. We gave it to Pakistan and India. Hopefully they will all remain stable. It's not as clear that Iran, Russia and North Korea will be trustworthy. Can we trust that all the nuclear powers will be responsible in a world where there are simply too many bombs? History has proven that the more weapons that are out there, the more likely they will be used. And irresponsible rogue countries are more likely to use them, particularly in times like these, where so much belligerence is already in progress. Russia is a perfect example. Putin has publicly threatened to use the bomb in aid of his invasion of Ukraine. Given all the trouble in the world today, old-fashioned deterrence seems so old-fashioned. The UN isn't what it used to be, and war crimes and war criminals seem more prevalent than before. Honestly, doesn't it seem we're speeding down a road to perdition, where intentionally or unintentionally, we are at the brink of a time when we could face widespread nuclear exchange and global disaster. Thoughts and prayers are not enough. We should be very worried and do whatever we can to get off this very dangerous road to this very dangerous place. Thanks so much for your consideration of the views and concerns expressed in this think tech commentary. Aloha.